what's up guys um just wanted to show off my tank a little bit and share what i've learned through this experience um i've had my ups and downs especially with euphilia i didn't seem to have any luck with any euphilia till about six months of my tank maturing um i've also noticed a raise in ph has made my life a lot easier and the corals seem to be much happier but with euphilia i've noticed they love random flow you know back and forth also when you're purchasing euphilia whether it be wild or aquacultured i have a lot better luck with aquaculture um i've talked to a few vendors that bring in wild ask them what their par levels are with the fresh imports and um most of the ones i've talked to keep it around 50 par so i think that might have been part of my issue because i killed about six to eight different hammers and torches when i first started doing this so i always i try to stay away from wild but when i do bring them in I'll acclimate them very slow to the par. Start them off in the corner of a tank that's not getting much light. I've also realized it's very important to ask as many questions as you can when you're buying this stuff. Um, find out what lights they're using, find out their parameters, find out the par levels they're keeping stuff at, especially with euphilia. I've also noticed the importance of white light. When I first started running my radions, I loved the blue look. We all like that blue look, but um, I hardly ran any whites. I think I had it at like not even 5%. It was really blue tank, and I wasn't getting any growth. But um, the more people I talked to were letting me know the importance of it, um, so I, I tried it out. I, I slowly turned up my whites. Um, I added in my in my um, lighting schedule a four hour period that's uh, more of a full spectrum. All my whites and reds are up, and the corals seem to like that a lot. But yeah, I was looking at my acros today, and man, they're taking off. The colors are just popping. They're starting to encrust. I got to find spots for them because they're looking good. I added a few new ghanis in my little garden. Uh, they're all different colors. I got some killer deals on it. But yeah, it's looking pretty good too. Um, I've noticed they like more of a gentle flow. Also, I think I noted, um, mentioned it in the last video about T5s. Um, I started with the T5 supplements. I started at two hours a day. And my corals are really taking off since that. Also, when you're purchasing Euphilia, look at the flesh band very important to have a nice flesh band that goes all the way around um i didn't really care about that too much and i think that was part of my issues in the beginning with euphilia is not looking underneath and, and making sure everything's good i don't directly feed my euphilia um i haven't had much luck with that doesn't seem like they like it too much but um i do feed the tank and i'm sure they benefit from that I do a little bit of AB plus, a little bit of restore. I do those two um, one to two times a week. Also, I've really got into the Captivate stuff. Um, my Kato sucks down my nitrate, so I've tried to up my nitrate a little bit. Just starting slow. But I use the Captivate Calc Wasser. Uh, I use the Captivate Nitrate Additive, and I use the, the Captivate um i forgot what it's called it's uh it's it's uh it's a coral food i think it's a dried phytoplankton and i mix that dry captivate food with a little bit of phyto and i do that once a week and my corals love it also with euphilia you've got to watch your fish um i've got a i've had a couple fish a couple shrimps pick up my euphilia in the beginning and um I had to take care of that situation. 
had some shrimps in the middle of the night when the flow turned down and they'd come out and and I actually caught one of the shrimps <laughs> eating away at a hammer um, also I had a cell phone tang in here and he picked at my high dollar torch most expensive torch I have in my tank it was the only thing he would pick at he didn't mess with anything else just that so uh, I got a new tank and I moved him to the the new setup also I'm a big believer in the KFC dip um, I, I especially Cipro um, I've had a couple Euphilia that were on their way out didn't look good and I did the dip I believe it's four or five days in a row and they look better than ever I don't believe in the um, using the Cipro as like a monthly regiment but I do believe that it does wonders if you're having problems with your euphilia i would much rather them get immune to an antibiotic than die but yeah that's about it for this video thank you for watching guys and remember it's not real reefing until you live in the doghouse have a good one